just going to do a quick how to on how to change the oil and oil filter on a K12 Micro. Uh, the tools you'll need is a ratchet and a 14mm socket and then some form of oil filter wrench. You're also going to need some uh, strong jack stands and a decent jack to lift up the car high enough to get underneath it. So this is where you drain out the oil. Just want to Break loose the bolt on the sump first. There we go. That is now loose. And now I just wanna do it like that and so I don't get covered in oil. So I'm taking out this bolt. This is the sump plug. There we go. Just let the oil drain out. Just let that keep draining until it turns into uh, uh, just a little drip. So there is our oil filter. We need to get this little wrench over. Let's see if I can show you that. So that's what you want to do. Just want to get the wrench just over the back of the oil filter and then I'll just tighten it up and then break it loose okay so once you have it tightened up just want to give it a push that way there we go now what I'll do is I'll just take off the take off the wrench and now the rest of the oil filter should just come off pretty easily by hand. Yeah, we'll make a horrible mess everywhere. There we go. Make sure you dump that in the bucket. Fish up our new filter like so. Get that started, and this only really needs to be hand tight. Just put a little bit. There's a little rubber seal on it. Put a little bit of engine oil around that, and then just tighten it up as much as you can do by hand. good enough and I think that uh, I'm still gonna let this drain for a little bit to get a really good oil change you want to just let it drip for as long as possible the sump gets torched down to 30 newton meters there we go that's done and now we can fill it up with oil just in case if you're a complete novice the oil goes in here um, 3.4 litres of oil is what you need I've just put that in there I spilled a little bit, so I've just got some brake cleaner out and make sure you clean it all off. So there's no, is there anything they've got an oil leak? That's it now. The oil change is uh, is done. I'll run the engine um, for five seconds, turn it off, check the dipstick, and then if it needs more, top it up a little bit. <laughs> 